Hello, my Pisces friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo, and I'm here to bring you your February reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, make sure you check out your other signs as well, as this will not resonate with everybody. So just take what fits and leave what don't. And uh, with that, we'll get started right away. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2018? What messages do you want them to know, need them to know, and what do they get to know? The first four cards will represent the first weeks or the weeks of February, and then the last card will be the overall energy, and the second row will be those that you are dealing with, um, whether it be in a relationship, family, friends, uh, wherever it fits for you. That is what it's meant for. So, Spirit and Angels, can I please have? Five cards for our Pisces friends for the month of February. Oops. So you're dealing with somebody from your past in the first week of February. Um, could be past life relationships. Um, or you are thinking of somebody from your past. Could be stuck in the memories. Um, missing somebody. I have three more cards for Pisces, please. The second, oops. And one more for the fourth week of February. Okay. All right. And five cards for who that they are dealing with. What do they need to know? Whoa. What do they get to know? Uh-oh, Pisces. Okay. For a group of you, you are mourning the loss of somebody. You are um, you are crying over spilled milk, I guess you could say. Um, you're looking and paying attention far too much at what you've lost and not what you still have. And um, Spirit is encouraging you to uh, thank for the blessings you do have and to, um, possibly, um, make a gratitude list is what spirit is saying. I'm going to clarify with the vice versa deck today. So like I said, in the first week of February, you were in your head about somebody you're missing somebody from your past. Um, and this is due to, the fact that they are not making a choice. Um, you could be um, one of their options and they have not uh, took any steps towards um, moving towards you. And this is leaving you stuck in your head. Um, thinking of the good times, thinking of the, the love you guys have shared. Um, it's being clarified by the magician. So, um, Spirit is saying you have the tools, you have what it takes to make this relationship a go. Um, you just need to quit concentrating on what you've lost and start using the tools that you need to, um, to make this relationship move forward. In their first week, they had the two of wands in reverse clarified by the Empress. So they are choosing between you and the mother of their children. Um, or if they don't have children, this is, um, their mother causing them problems on, um, making you their choice. Um, but for the majority of you, I'm getting, uh, that this is, um, he's choosing between you and the mother of his children. I'm going to clarify with a third deck on major arcanas that are, um, from the clarifying deck. So why is this magician and this empress here, spirit? What does Pisces need to know about the magician and the tools they need to make this relationship move forward? Okay. Six of cups again. So you have, um, you are very, very stuck in your head about the past. Um, and then you had the five of cups. So you're mourning the loss of this instead of mourning the loss Pisces, you need to, um, 
take the tools, heal, fix yourself, get grounded. Because with the magician, you have the ace of wands, the ace of cups, the ace, you know, you have all the aces, you have them all in your hand. Um, what you need to do is to start healing, start working on yourself because you had the five of cups on the bottom of your deck. And then your clarifying card for the magician was the six of cups, which is what we are clarifying. So you're really, um, emotional right now. You are really, um, sad. You're depressed over this person from your past. And you have the tools to move past this. You have the tools to get over this heartache because until you heal, until you um, heal that broken heart, all those past hurts, they're not going to choose to come back to you. Um, I do, I am getting from spirit that um, this is a twin flame soulmate reading. So if you feel you are in the twin flame journey, this is for you. Okay. And look at that. <laughs> The Empress is clarified by the Empress. So definitely, definitely he's choosing between you and the mother of his children. But you have the Ace of Swords. So he is going to find clarity. He is going to find the truth in the matter. And it is going to point in your direction. So um, you just have to be patient. You have to begin healing, Pisces. Because without you healing, he cannot move towards you. That's how the twin flame journey works. And um, unfortunately, um, that is often the hardest part is to learning to live without that person. Learning to um, move on without feeling like you need that person there to complete you. You need to become whole. You need to heal. And, and you'll be amazed at how fast they come returning. So take the time to focus on you and, um, and with the five of cups, quit, quit looking at what you've lost because you still have the two of cups soulmate behind you. Why is this strength card here in the second week of February for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? So yeah, you, you have the strength to move out of feeling like you are abandoned, um, Right now, you have the strength in reverse, and you're feeling like this situation has taken control of you. You feel like you have no way out of this horrible, abandoned feeling. This um, You could be facing financial troubles as well, but I'm getting more of this as a feeling. You are sad because they're no longer investing their time in you, um, their love, their attention, and you have the strength to get out of that feeling. Um, you just really need to, um, to start focusing on yourself. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? Oh, no, for the person that they are dealing with. Why is this Ten of Swords here in reverse? Um, for this group of you, I feel that this is for those of you who are in the twin flame journey, who have just, um, came into the separation phase and they are coming out of the feeling of being betrayed, backstabbed. Um, and they are going to learn to balance out themselves. So once they get over this feeling of emotional, um, heartache, or the feeling for a group of you, I'm getting this person feels like they backstabbed um, everybody. They feel like they've, they just feel guilty for the hurt that they've caused everybody, but they are going to learn to balance out themselves. They are going to choose one of you and they are going to let that um, period. Yeah. They are going to move away from, from one, from their karmic partner and that is going to bring them balance because you are their wish come true. See that shooting star in the back? They are going to move out of this Ten of Swords feeling. And they are going to move towards you because you are their wish. And it's going to bring them balance. Um, because right now, they with that Ten of Swords energy, they are feeling way out of sorts. In the third week of February, Pisces, you guys have the Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. So you are going to start to find balance 
in yourself and you are going to start to um, become more uh, independent. You're going to become more financially stable on yourself, emotionally stable on yourself. Um, you're really going to start figuring out how to make your life work and remain in balance alone, independently. Oops. And the King of Wands came out. So you're just going to, you're going to start to rely a lot on family. You're going to take um, a step back and not rely so much on this person, but you're going to turn towards family. The King of Wands is very strong and family centered. They are passionate about um, creativity. You're going to start um, being creatively um, pursuing other things. You're going to allow yourself to, um, to start spawning ideas that you've been having about what you want to do, like what hobbies, what um, it could be um, for a group of you starting a new business. This card also wanted to fly out. It is the seven of swords. So you're no longer going to allow this person to steal your thoughts, your, um, your emotions. You're going to take the king of wands approach to this and you're going to dive deep into, like I said, your hobbies, something you're creating just to get your mind off this relationship and allow balance back into your life. Why is the seven of wands here for, or seven of pentacles, I'm sorry, for Pisces' partner? Why is the seven of pentacles here? Okay, so they have in the third week, the seven of pentacles, which is putting the work in and watching it grow. But they are carrying a large burden. Um, they are, and you see this person in the back, kind of a stone statue. This is their karmic partner, I believe. Um, they are no longer going to um, feel like it's worth the time and effort in putting into this other relationship. And I mean, that's two tens that they have. They have the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands. So this is coming to an end. They are um, transitioning into a different um, period in their life. They are going to put these wands down because it is the backside of the card. They are no longer feel like the burden of this relationship is worth it to them. Oops. Why does Pisces have the King of Cups here in the fourth week? Why does the Pisces have the King of Cups here in the fourth week of February? Okay. The Strength card. Beautiful. Soulmate. Let's see the infinity sign above the girl in this picture. Um, you have the strength it takes to... Fight those inner demons that you are facing right now in relation to your king of cups. You know he holds the cup that you want. You know that you have the strength to get through this. And you are now going to start showing that strength. And um, no longer allowing um, other people to, to really... Um, tell you what it is that, that you deserve because you have um, a lot of friends and family telling you that this relationship isn't worth it to move on. You deserve better, but you're going to have the strength to stand up to them and let them know that this is the person that holds your heart that you want, um, that you want in your life. And after a time of resting and recouping and rejuvenating that spiritual um, side of you, your heart, mind, and soul, you will be victorious. You will get this King of Cups by the end of February um, for this group of you. You are going to feel very successful um, because you are going to put the time in that it takes to get over um, the heartache and the, um, yeah, the heartache of what has happened in this, in this relationship, in this connection. And, um, Pisces, your partner has the moon in reverse. And this could be because you guys are separated right now. Um, 
and the King of Cups came out. So they also know that you are their King of Cups. I do not, um, I do not see that there's a lot of secrets. There are going to be a couple things that come out in regards to the one that you are connected to. And um, I think it's going to shake you up a little bit. But overall, I think you already knew that this was coming. Why is the fool and the star here in Pisces overall energy? Why is the fool and star in reverse here for Pisces? Okay. Okay. Very clear here. So, um, the reason why you need to heal Pisces is because you know, and like I said, I think you know what secret's going to come out. And I think you know that they are still involved with the mother of their children. But you are not getting the, the fresh star, the fool, or the star right now because they're both in reverse because of this third party. There is still three in this relationship. And it is keeping you from moving. Oops. It is keeping you from moving forward in this relationship. And, um, And that is why the, the fool is in reverse. Why is the seven of swords here for the overall energy of who Pisces is connecting with? Okay. Um, their overall energy is the seven of swords. The sneaking around feeling um, for a group of you, Pisces, you know that they're sneaking around with you, but they're not lying and cheating to you. They're lying and cheating to the other person, to the uh, mother of their children, because you know that they're still with them. You know that they're still this third party. Um, so I don't feel that's why with the moon card in reverse, when I said that, you know what's going on, but you're not too surprised. That's why. Um, and they are feeling like they are stuck with this person, the other person. And that's why they feel like they have to lie and sneak around on them so that they can still see you. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of clarifiers for this overall energy. Why is this three of cups here for Pisces? Why is this three of cups here for their overall energy? Okay, the five of pentacles. So you're feeling... With the Three of Cups, you are wanting them to make a choice and hurry up and make it now because you're tired of feeling like you're second best. You're tired of feeling like you're abandoned or left out in the cold. Or when it comes to you, you're the one that only gets them when they have time to sneak you in. And you're getting tired of that. And why is this Eight of Swords here for their partner? Okay, and they have the devil. So um, so either they are codependent on their partner. Um, this could be um, financially or um, the co their partner is codependent on them. So they feel guilty about leaving. They're worried about them financially. They're worried about their children. Um, this also could have to do with overindulgence because it is with the three of cups. So somebody could be overindulging in alcohol or drugs, but, um, but what I'm seeing for the majority of you is, um, there's a codependency between either their financial stability with this, um, partner that they have or their partner on them. And they're worried about finances, but your overall energies clarifier was the five of pentacles. You're wanting them to spend more time with you. You're wanting them to decide already. You're tired of being the third wheel, the third party. You're tired of them telling you one thing, but it never seems to happen. Spirit and Angels, do you have any other messages for Pisces in the month of February? Do you have anything else that you want them to know in relationship to this twin flame journey that they are on? Any other messages, Spirit? Okay, so these cards did fly out. <clears throat> so 
So in regards, they do want you to know that they are going to, for me, the King of Wands is the family card. Um, they are very family centered. They are very passionate about their family. So when it is in reverse, I see them leaving their family, ending this third party and it ending in divorce. So I do see that as your future outlook, Pisces. I don't see it in the month of February, unfortunately. Um, I, I do see you still at the end of the month because it is your overall energy here that you still are the third party. You are the one that they are sneaking around with, especially since they had the seven of swords and you had the, um, fool in reverse and the, um, star in reverse. So you're not going to be getting your wishes just yet. Um, a good thing about the star though, is this is your wish and it will come eventually. And this is what just flew out of the clarifying deck, the devil again, and the, um, king of pentacles. So like I said, they are codependent because of financial reasons, either them to her or her to him. But, um, whatever it is, this devil card is still here and it has, it's in regards to pentacles finances. They have not filed for divorce or ended this third party because somebody is codependent on them or they or no. Okay. This is the queen of pentacles. I'm sorry. So she, he is financially dependent on her. Um, she is the queen of pentacles. She has the money. She has the finances. Um, he could be worried about, um, her taking all his money or child support because this person does have his children. So he could be worried about alimony, child support, um, but whatever it is, that is what is keeping this justice card from happening. But Pisces, I do see in the very near future, um, I would say by the end of March, that um, there will be a divorce filed um, and the third party coming to an end. But we still have to see the tower, um, you know, the death card, the, you know, the chariot. We're not there yet, but... I do see in your their future them ending this. I am going to pull a couple Romance Angels cards since this is a twin flame um, relationship I'm getting. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? In regards to their twin flame journey with this person. What words of encouragement can you give them? What do they need to know? What do Pisces... True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So hold on, guys. It's coming. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive people from your family or them. This card wanted to fly out. Deception. So somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship, but you guys already know that um, because there you are the third person. But you're going to have to have faith in the universe. When this, when the trust card comes out after reading like this, um, I'm, I'm not, um, calling for you guys to trust this person so much as to trust the universe. They know what they're doing. Um, you have to have faith because they are coming and getting to know yourself as you reveal the innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So allow yourself to be open still. Um, don't, um, don't close off to this person. Um, still be there as a friend. Um, you know, the universe has a funny way of working itself out. And um, this is going to work out. Trust in the universe because this is divinely guided. Helpers of the Hidden Realm, what messages do you have for Pisces in this twin flame journey? What advice do you have for them? What do they need to know? Okay, so the Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. So do not allow yourself to be manipulated. Um, take a step back. Um, even though this is your twin, you do not have to put up with certain things. You should not be putting up with certain things. Do not be manipulated to go along with this situation. Um, you, you don't need to be the third wheel. Um, the twin flame journey is not about hurting other people. Take a step back. Allow them to end the relationship that they're in, as hard as that's, that sounds. And, um, and it will, it will happen so much faster. The dragon's duel, inner conflict, 
and a conscious choice. And that's what I was just saying. You're internally, internally conflicted because you want this person. You don't want to walk away. You love this person. You're worried if you take a step back, they're never going to leave that person. But the um, beauty of it is the universe knows what it's doing. You have to do the right thing. Take a step back. Make a conscious choice to end this third party because nobody deserves to be hurt, um, including your partner's partner. So take a step back, allow them to end the relationship that they're currently in, and the universe will bless you. And it'll bless you with the lady of gift, um, generosity, receiving, and withholding. So spirit is just calling for you to do the right thing, to remove yourself from the third party situation you're currently in, even though this is your twin, um, because the universe will bring you two back together. You are meant to be. So there's nothing to worry about. So um, that is the message I have for you in February. Pisces, I apologize. It's not more lovey-dovey for the month of February, but um, congratulations. You are in the twin flame journey. You have found your soulmate, your twin. Um, just be strong. Start healing yourself. Once you heal yourself, this is going to move in such a positive way. Um, direction that it is literally going to catapult you into a relationship. Um, you just got to do the right thing. Um, remove yourself from being the third party, allow them to end that relationship and have faith, have faith in the world, have faith in the universe, have faith in God or whoever it is that your higher power is. But no matter what, the universe is going to take care of you and will bring you back together. I do see this relationship ending probably around March, um, give or take a little bit of time. Because as we all know, in the spiritual realm, there is no time. So that is just um, an estimate from my uh, guides. But um, just have faith. It's going to happen. And this journey will lead you in many different directions, but it'll all... Um, it always leads you to the path of abundance and happiness and bliss and love. So with that being said, I'm going to end this and I hope you guys all enjoy the video and God bless.